meter now. What'd you get at most? Here it is, my home. 61. I forgot what show it was. Not the Dubai. Can I check the amps out? Yeah. She can open it or something, maybe. Oh, wow. They taped over the brand. Wanna get some every time I get the suck I am
Yeah, I was moving the cup over here. I'm just gonna get a video. I'm just getting video inside. I've already heard it before. Okay. Appreciate it. Man, this thing's getting hot. What? The subs, you can feel the heat coming out of them. Who built this? David Berger, 135. That's not bad. 148. That's not bad at all. Where do you, where do you check out? The or the I normally put it on 156. The, yeah. That's not too bad. The backs are probably hot. What's going on, everybody, on YouTube? I'm Jacob Viral, and I do daily cardio videos. Hope you enjoyed the build today. Go ahead and give it a like, as well as comment some good feedback about what you thought about this build. Really clean and loud. Uh, I think it was 18 of the Apocalypse 12s on a lot of power, as you saw. I didn't do a build intro discussion with this one because I've done it in the past, so it was more of a good demo and walk around for you guys. If you want to know all the info information about this build, link in the description should be a video showing you all of the build info you need in around four to five minute walk around, as well as an extra demo footage video if you want to see. It's all in one video, link in the description. Anyway, thanks for always watching guys. Stay tuned for more cardio videos of all genres and I'm going to go ahead and do a shout out. I do a shout out in every commentary I do as well as like to give some feedback on the commentaries and answer questions. So if you ever want to shout out or have questions, just comment and I'll be able to get back to you eventually. All right, so the shout out today is going to go to Sober Scum. He said, hey Jacob, killing it with the videos. How about a shout out for my YouTube channel, Sober Scum? So he got a couple of questions, which is going to be answered in this video, hopefully. Is OFC wire for mids and highs necessary or some sky high, etc. CCA speaker wire will work? And is it good enough for mids and highs? That's one question. Second one, when using C-Max or the Ying Long or any other lithium batteries, do you need the under hood uh, battery for what kind of voltage should you be charging at? Is it too much or too little? And if my tweeters, for the third question, have a small crossover wire to them, can I wire them directly to my pro mids or run the tweeters off the head unit or do you need to get another small lamp? Always great videos. Keep them coming. Well, appreciate it, man. There's your shout out there, Sober Scum. I'll be able to answer these the best of my ability right now. Um, just want to say, if you guys have any suggestions on that, go ahead and comment as well. So OFC, is it necessary for speakers? 100% no. I would highly recommend if you have the budget, go ahead and spend that extra 20, 30, 40 dollars for the OFC over the uh, non-oxygen free copper wire just because it's higher quality. It'll last longer, especially if it's getting moisture. So answer to that in short, yes. In long term, no, it doesn't matter. It can be done without, but I recommend OFC. Second, lithium and front battery. So normally lithium, it's going to depend on the lithium. Some of them are rated at 14.4 or 13.8 or 14.8 or even up to the mid-15s, 15.6, 15.8. So it depends on the lithium. I don't know much about the ones he asked about with Ying Long, but I know you don't want to have a front battery that's not compatible with the same cells unless you run like an isolator or something that separates the voltage. So that way they're not battling each other. So I would not recommend having any front battery if you have lithium. Just run all your wires to the back or wherever your battery is. Last question, tweeters with small crossover, different channels. So he has a crossover on the tweeters, but he's going to want to run the tweeters with the mid base. So you don't want to run the same channel with tweeters and mid base because what would happen is you got different impedances, I would think, from the mid base or the speakers and the tweeters. So you're going to want to run different channels for those and the crossover within the amplifier should do that. So say it's a four channel. Two of the channels can be for your speaker mid base and the other two can be for your tweeters. But I wouldn't recommend doing one of those channels with tweeters and mid base. I don't even think it's really possible. It might be. Maybe you guys can help me on that one. I'm not really a speaker person, but I hope that answered some questions. Stay tuned for more uh, videos. I'm Jacob Vile, and uh, see you on the next video tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Later.